the steel community, U.S. Steel, Bethlehem, LTV, people like that, were all laughing at us. They said, these guys don't know anything about making flat rolled steels. And, you know, they're not going to build a million ton steel mill for $250 million, complete with finishing facilities. That's not going to happen. And these dummies think they're going to run this with 300 people. It's going to take thousands, just like us. Well, we had no blueprint for what we were doing. We had no, there, was, there was just no blueprint. So talk about flying by the seat of your pants. We certainly were doing that. But uh, and it didn't cost $250 million. It cost $285 million to build it. And, uh, but we operated it with 275 people. We started making more money than any other steelmaker in the United States. Many of the American steelmakers died in the trade wars with international competition and died because they didn't modernize their facilities, things of that nature, or they merged. And when we were born, when Steel Dynamics was born, we obviously were the smallest steelmaker in the country. And there were 60 companies making steel. So we were number 60. Today, we're the fourth largest steelmaker in the United States. So it's an incredible story of growth and transition, and uh, one we're very proud of. And people ask me all the time, what are you most proud of? I said, the jobs. It's obvious. It's about jobs. It's about people. It's not about technology. Anybody can go buy technology if you have money. But it's about the culture that drives the success of the company. That's what makes Steel Dynamics great.